Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We have an upper level low that's going to continue to dive down to the south overnight tonight into the northern parts of California. We still have some scattered rain showers and yes, even some snow showers out there. The snow level, though, has been hovering around 4,500 to 5,000 feet. It will continue to drop overnight tonight, possibly down to about 4,000 feet. And some of the heavier showers, it may even go a little bit lower than that. We continue with the winter weather advisory in effect through 7 a.m. Saturday morning. And this is for the Cascades and also the Siskiyou Mountains. Diamond Lake and Crater Lake could get anywhere from about one to possibly as much as five inches of snow. Siskiyou Pass on I-5 and Lake of the Woods, anywhere from a very light coating trace or so up to a few inches. Uh, better chances for the accumulating snow is over Highway 140. Lake of the Woods. East of the Cascades, rain and snow showers changing over to mainly snow showers. Light snow amounts will be possible east of the Cascades in the valleys and west of the Cascades. Showers and a slight chance for a thunderstorm, but I think most of us are just going to be dealing with a few showers passing through. Now for the coast, temperatures will be in the 40s overnight. Chance for a few showers, maybe even some areas of fog. There's a slight chance for showers in the morning. Then we start to uh, get more sunshine. Your temperatures in the 50s and 60s with an offshore flow. The wind becoming north northeast 10 to 25 miles per hour going for 65 in Brookings. That's pretty nice. As we move inland, lows will be in the 30s and 40s. A chance for a few scattered showers, maybe some patchy fog as well. Some areas of mist. Snow showers over Siskiyou Pass on I-5 and also Lake of the Woods. Looking at a low temperature of around 33 from Mount Shasta City. Your highs tomorrow in the 40s and 50s. We have a slight chance for morning showers. Northern California, you have a chance for some showers. Isolated thunderstorms. There could even be some morning snow showers possibly as well, especially above about 4,000 feet. We get more sunshine, though, moving in during the day. East of the Cascades, your lows will be in the 20s to around 30. We have a chance for snow showers. Again, 1 to 5 inches possible over the Cascades. Little or no snow, snow accumulation for the valley floors east of the Cascades. And your highs for Saturday, 30s and 40s. A slight chance for morning rain and snow showers. We have more sunshine developing during the day. Klamath Falls at 43, 37 Christmas Valley. Seven-day forecast. Highs will generally be in the 50s, but you see those 60s Wednesday and Thursday. Check out some of these lows. That's for 26 there, Sunday morning for the Rogue Valley. Chilly start. We also have some chilly starts after that. I have a slight chance for showers on Monday. Overall, the weekend looks pretty dry, even with a slight chance for showers Saturday morning. Klamath Basin, you have a slight chance for morning snow showers on Saturday. Otherwise, more sunshine. We dry out for the weekend. Some chilly starts. 17 for Sunday morning. Klamath Falls, slight chance for some rain and snow showers Monday. We warm up the rest of the work week, even though we'll still have some uh, chilly mornings. Mount Shasta City, you have highs in the 40s and 50s. A chance for a few showers, rain or snow showers on Saturday. Then more uh, sunshine building in, especially on Sunday with a slight chance for showers Monday. Lows generally in the 20s and 30s for the coast. Highs will generally be in the 50s, lows in the 30s and 40s. But again, with the offshore flow Saturday and Sunday, we could have some areas making into the 60s with more sunshine Saturday and Sunday and a slight chance for showers on Monday.